Okay, we're here with the amazing, sexy, talented Josh Todd of Buck Cherry. How you doing there, Josh? I'm great, you know, uh, here in Sin City, Sin City once again, and I uh, got a show tonight, and representing this great new record, War Paint. 20 years in the game, a lot of stuff going on. 20 years. Yeah. 20 years, that's a long time. We've appreciated you, and of course, we've followed your career for the magazine yes, so many yes. times like Thank you. how many times have you been on the cover one two <laughs> three four wow. you know you're my favorite so those are for you Thank um you, you know t talking about your long career you know as you look back uh, how is this album different than your previous when you started out with 15 uh, it's very similar to 15 actually you know there was a uh, lineup changes be before 15 it had been like three years since the record uh, prior to that time bomb and this is very much the same situation and uh, we were very thorough in the songwriting um, uh, we, we wrote over 30 songs for an 11 song record and it's definitely one of our best and um, just we're just having a lot of fun speaking of lineup changes now I know you've addressed this issue what happened with Keith and everybody? Why the big lineup changes recent years? Uh, you know, it just Buck Cherry just hadn't been a united front or a band for quite some time prior to Keith's departure, you know, and you'd have to talk to him about his reasons, but um, everything works out, you know, for the good always, you know, and I wish everybody who's left this band at some point um, just happiness. I hope they're happy and, and they're getting on with their lives and they, they feel good about what they've, their decisions and stuff. And, you know, uh, this is the best musical lineup we've ever had, you know. So, um, and I've known all these guys a lot of years. We all know, knew each other way before we were in bands uh, back in the day. So, it's been a lot of fun. Now, um, did, did they leave on their own accord or just was it record company or politics or? Oh, they left on their own accord, for sure, okay. yeah. There wasn't any ultimatum like, well, don't leave because this or that? Nope. Okay. Well, um, I'm excited to hear the new band. Now, going back to your uh, 15 album, my question is, um, Crazy Bitch kind of broke the band. Um, was that written from True Experience? Well, really, the first single that, that kind of put us on the map was Lit Up on our first record, and, and then we had For the Movies as well, and, and uh, you know, and then everything happened. We put out Time Bomb, and we didn't get a lot of love from our label on that record, and we really loved it, and then three of the members had quit from the original lineup, and that's uh, right around the time where Keith and I were just writing uh, songs for the, n the next Buck Cherry record. We hadn't been dropped or anything like that from our label, and... And that's when Crazy Bitch kind of came about and uh, just had no idea it was going to have the impact that it did. It just really, it sat around for like three years. Mm. Yeah. Was it written, did you know a lot of crazy bitches in your life? <laughs> you know, it, the idea came to me when I was driving around in L.A. at the time. Uh, Paris Hilton put out these sex tapes or they just, I don't think she put them out. I don't know how they got, it, they came out, but basically she launched... Uh, her uh, entertainment career with some homemade porn and I just thought that was funny you know and then I just I started reminiscing about you know my youth and I had a lot of uh, just crazy uh, girls that I had met when I was younger and and um, I just started singing chorus of crazy bitch and I just wanted to record it and I think I called my mom because I didn't have like a I didn't have an iPhone or anything at that time and I called my mom to record it on her machine so I wouldn't forget it, and that's kind of funny. <laughs> mom recorded uh, Crazy Bitch for you. Yeah, I just said, don't erase this. I, I want to remember it, and, and we'll talk about it later. <laughs> that was it. She must be so proud of you. <laughs> she is proud of me. You know, we've, we have, we're very close, and, you know, she's always supported me through all my stuff, and she's a great lady. Yeah, you've got a lot of great women around you in your life. Um, of course, you don't meet any crazy girls now. Just kidding. <laughs> um, tell me about being in the genre of rock and roll. Now, you're not metal, but you're rock. Is it hard to be in that genre in this day and age? It is if you're a new band, for sure. I wouldn't even know where to start if I was a new band. I feel, I feel sorry for some of these guys that are coming up because it's really tough in, in the rock genre, you know. And It shouldn't be, but that's the way it is right now. And... Um, so I'm grateful, you know, we've had longevity in a, you know, in a business that 
doesn't have a lot of longevity. You know, we've never really been a mainstream rock act since we started, you know. We started in 1999. There was a lot of rap rock and what I call, like, nerd rock, like shoegazing rock, like, you know, the dudes with the button-up shirts and the Buddy Holly glasses looking down at their shoes. And so that's what was going on at the time. And then, you know, and then the 2000s happened and it was all this active rock stuff. Um which is not what we do as well. So, uh, you know, it's just to have longevity all these years um, in this climate is, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of. Now, you're not metal, you kind of like fit in the middle. It, would you do anything different in your career if you had to do it all over again? No, I wouldn't. I think, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, there's a lot of peaks and valleys and uh, that's how you uh, learn and get better and and it's been a, it's been a great ride would would you say that uh, who, who would have been your biggest influences as far as like the rock front man the rock front man um i don't know you know like the first like rock front man i dug was ian mckay or mckay i don't know how you pronounce it but the guy from minor threat he was the first guy that i was like man this dude is badass you know i, I really liked him and and then it became like other rock guys um, were probably like uh, Ian Ashbury from uh, The Cult. I really liked him. Um, I really liked Bon Scott and Brian Johnson, of course. Um, they were big influences. But I, I liked, you know, like I was really into Prince and, and Stevie Wonder. And I would sneak in my sister's room and listen to all her records. And I was into the, all those Prince era bands at the time, Apollonia 6, you know, um, Sheila E. I liked all that stuff. Okay, great. Now, um, I see that um, in the rock world today, there's like everything's completely changed. Everything's internet. Now, if you had to say something to your fans about the way uh, the world and the media is today, what, what would you say to them? I don't know. It's like harder to get eyes on you because it's like information overload for, I think, everyone. You know, it's like... It's hard to get people to focus on you for a long time because everybody's just flipping through their feed and they're just they're just seeing the whole they can explore the whole world in like five ten minutes you know and um, you're just a blip on that screen if you if you're even on the screen you know so um, it's really difficult um, I think it comes down to like you know the same th same things that always came down to is passion and uh, perseverance and and if you write great songs and you got a great show and you're an unforgettable, um, then, uh, you know, something's going to happen eventually. What would you like your fans to know something about you personally that they might not know? Something about me personally. Personal life. Mm. Um, maybe that I'm like, I'm really into animals, <laughs> you know, like I, uh, and so is my wife, you know, we watch a lot of, uh, our, our whole family, we watch a lot of uh, nature shows, you know, like Planet Earth and stuff like that. I can like literally watch that stuff for hours. So I'm really into the the, uh, the animal kingdom and how it all works. It's fascinating uh, to me and maybe people don't know that. What kind of animals do you like the best? What kind of pets do you have? Uh, we had a lot of, we had uh, three boxers, but they all passed away uh, from old age eventually. Um, and so we're taking a break from dogs at this point. But as far as like uh, wild animals, uh, I like the big cats. Yeah. Do you have any of those at home? No, no, no big cats. No, no. I respect uh, wild animals. I, I I like to watch them from afar. I don't want to, you know, step into their their uh, zone because. Are you going to get another boxer? Um. Maybe, you know, eventually, uh, uh, my youngest daughter really wants a dog. She asks for it, like, literally every day. But, you know, uh, Mama Bear has got to really agree. She's got to be on board. Well, hope she gets one. So, Mario Barth, I know, does a lot of your tattoos now. Have you got any new tattoos since I last saw you? I'm sure you have. Um, right now, you know, it's actually Kevin Quinn has tattooed uh, most of my body. Uh, I love Mario. He's a, he's a great friend. I actually texted him today to say hello I haven't talked to him in a while but um yeah Kevin's been working on uh, you just put some stuff on my abdomen I'm gonna f fill up some stuff here and 
I just recently started getting tattooed again. I took like about four or five years off. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a favorite tattoo? Probably my back piece because it's really big and uh, I earned it. It, was, it took a lot of uh, time, a lot of hours. And you show it off so well on stage every night. Yeah. <laughs> you take off one piece of clothing at a time and the cameras go crazy. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us here in Sin City. And, Thanks so much. Yeah. And, uh, Thanks for the love and being on the cover so many times. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we love you. Always been a fan. Thank awesome. you. Josh Todd here in Sin City, Vegas Rocks TV. See you next time.